Honestly, drilling holes is boring. <laughs> but you can always micro jig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. A drill press is a real handy tool to have in this shop. Unfortunately, most of them aren't designed for woodworking. You get this small round table that doesn't offer any support for long boards and it's difficult to set up for drilling repeated holes. This table is easy to make and solves those problems. It's got a quick adjust fence that's easy to lock in place and an adjustable stop block so I don't have to clamp boards to the fence any longer. I'm gonna start by cutting out two strips for the fence. I'm cutting a shallow groove near the end of each board. Now I can glue these two pieces together with the slots facing each other. With that dry, I can cut a shallow groove along the length of one side for the stop block to slide in. I'll glue this thin piece of plywood to the face. I wanna to try to avoid getting any glue inside that groove. Now I can square up the fence. I've raised my blade up just high enough to cut through this thin layer of plywood to complete the T-track. If you go to the hardware store and try to find these T-bolts in the nuts and bolts department, you may have a hard time. You have to go to the plumbing department and these are called toilet bolts and they work perfectly. The stop block is just a simple square. I couldn't find any short toilet bolts, so I'll have to cut this one down. I've got a couple of pieces of scrap hardwood. This is oak that I'll glue together for the clamping mechanisms. You could probably use plywood for this too, but I like the extra strength of the oak. I'll shape this into the two fence clamps. These clamping blocks should clamp a little tighter if I cut a shallow angle on the gripping end. I need to drill a shallow, wider hole on the underside. I'll use epoxy to glue the heads of these bolts into those holes. The table itself is just a board. I'm easing over the edges so they're not so sharp. I'll screw the top in place using lag screws. I need to be careful how I position this table. If I put it all the way to the post, there won't be enough room to crank this handle. Applying some paste wax will help the fence slide a little easier and provide some protection for the top. These clamp blocks will slide into that hole. I'll add a washer and attach it with one of these star knobs. Most hardware stores sell these or you can buy them online. Positioning the fence is easy. I just put it wherever I need it and tighten it down. 
Whenever I need to use the stop block, I can just slide it into place and lock it down. Sometimes when you're drilling a lot of holes and using a stop block, sawdust can collect in this corner, preventing the wood from accurately butting up against the side of the stop block. So what I've done is on two of these corners, I've added this little chamfer, a beveled edge there to prevent the sawdust from collecting in that corner. So let's say I've got these four blocks that I want to drill a hole into in the exact same position on each one. That's when I would use the stop block. Using a scrap piece of wood for a backer board will help prevent the back sides of these holes from splintering out. Of course, eventually I'll just drill a permanent hole through the table anyway. 